Hey everyone, what's up? Now, something new today, Dragoonity. Now, Dragoonity is one of my favorite decks. It's definitely not the favorite. Pendulum is my favorite by far. The main reason why Pendulum is my favorite is because you use every summon mechanic in the game. So yeah, it's more enjoyable to use Pendulums. However, the playstyle for Dragoonity is the very same. You're just going to build a board and tell your opponent to get good. Now, that out of the way, the weakness for the deck is that you rely on your normal summons. So if you're interrupted, you most likely won't build a great board. Also, we're waiting on the new Dragoon to support to make them really good. Just make them go over the top. But for now, they're a very good deck. And let's go in. Now, first up, we play Triple Ducks. Some cards are very familiar here. Ducks is one of them. Been around for a long time. Now, you all know what he does. He quits back from the grave and you go off. Then we play Triple Senatus. Senatus is basically the same thing as Ducks, but just Bethel. However, he locks you into dragons in your extra deck. Now, the reason why I'm playing 3-3 is that they errated um, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, which had a huge impact. Because the combos before, you would summon it multiple times and you'd go full combo. No, you can't do that. So, you think you're going full combo, you're not. What is the most reliable way to play the deck so that you don't break? Because a lot of persons play the deck and you play these... The... They play either 1 and 3 or 1 and 3, depending on the way they want to root the combo. Now the thing is, you play 3, um, the field spell, 1 terraforming, and 3 of these. This does not pull from your hand. So if there was no way to send the tuner to the grave, it's a dead card, while Senatus is always live. So the Senatus way is the better way to go. But you will not always open with Senatus, it's just a 3 off. So it's best to play both of them. If you see someone playing just one, they're living on the edge or they're just bad. Moving on the, for the tuners. We have three phalanx. Uh, it's really hard to decide if he's the best tuner you know, because Kaos is really good because Kaos changes his level to four so you can make big synchro summons. So of course we play triple Kaos. They use the same utility you equip. You get a special summon for free and you go into your guard dragon combos. After that, we have or extenders which are triple miscellane or mistletane which one is it mistletane okay now i'm not sure if his name is a metal or a roman emperor or whatever but he's a real good card he extends and gives you a free moral savage just by summoning him so yeah he's a real good card and your last dragonity is armor leviathan you have to play at least one of he just gives you these cards just generate free plus ones and their extenders, so they're really good because you want to see the extenders. Moving on for your must play, we have Blackwing Zephyrus the Elite. Shout out Ronnie, he gave me one. I never had an Ultra one before. Thank you. And from there we have two Garuda the Wind Spirit, a next really good card. Shout out to Jordan, he was the one who gave me two of these. I never thought I'd own them because they're really old cards. Uh, I think they came out in the last Dragon Structure Deck, which was like almost 10 years ago. So, yeah. Really fortunate to have them. Thank you. And from there, the tech card, the Mastermind. We have Dragon Buster. Destruction Sword. He's really good. Like, it's really good. Just equip. And the fun fact, how you play it is just that. You just need to have it in the graveyard. Leviathan, when it's someone, you can equip it. Because it's a dragon monster. So your opponent can't go into their extra deck. So yeah. Then from there we have one baby rock. Mandatory to play. You all know what's in here. And for the dragons. Red Eyes Darkness Metal. We play one Goliath. To lock your opponent out of extra deck again. You have to play him because you play the lechery to lock them from spells. So they can't super polyrophine and then connive it way out. And your Dark Worm. I don't know why... I didn't use my secret or dark worm, but whatever. This is it for the lineup here. Moving on to spells. We have triple ravine, one terraforming. Really appreciate everyone who helped me to build the deck. It's really blinging. Then we have one dragon to divine lance. Big up to lance. Then we have triple cards of constant. I have no clue why people don't play this card. No clue, absolutely no clue. It's actually good. You can also send Buster Whelp for it. So yeah, it's not really a dead card. 
you'd really like to see it open in hand with any of the students it's really good the people really don't have a reason to cut this card because the deck isn't that fast the only card i might think i might play is desires but desires don't really help that much because from once you're gone you're gone you don't really need any more cards because if your opponent breaks your board there's no comeback because that is the board then we have monster reborn plus or triple word like i said guard dragon move the monster pull back your monster so if your opponent does stop you you're still able to play through just all the way through so if they veil or you some crap like that you'll still destroy them then we play two shrine and one foolish self-standard stuff i don't think i need to explain anything there um moving on to our extra deck first of all the best dragoonity gaydark he is the deck just rotate in for cards and send him to the grave you don't even have to send the card that you add so <laughs> it's just really good the only drawback is level four and low but you can search for dragon or wing beast and it's not limited to dragon it is so if you're not familiar with the deck you can search for anything you can what your main search is for that you have to search for at the end of the combo is lettery to lock your opponent out of spells then from there we play Dragunte Vagina, you can play even three Vaginas. Playing with three Vaginas are nice. And then we have one Dragunte Barcelona. Barcelona is a real good card. Self standard. Except for the A2 they collected today. God bless their soul. Anyways, moving on. One Escanor. This is basically Dark Arm Dragon. Once you summon him, you should be able to win the duel. You're going to banish all your opponent monsters. And it has 3 3 attack. You do the math. So it should be an OTK with him. And if he gets destroyed by some reason, he special summons a Synchro Monster from your extra deck and treat it as a Synchro Summon. Well, it must be a Dragon to Synchro, but they're all good. We play one Crystal Wing, fitting with the theme. And one thing I failed to mention about the deck is that the top deck is so strong. So if you actually resort to a grind game, like, this equals Crystal Wing. You just... Pull back a tuna going to Vajra and a pull back a tuna going to Crystal Wing. So your top game, your top deck is just really strong. And if you have Ravine on the field, you already know you're guaranteed a Ducks. So if it comes to a grand game, you have nothing much to worry about. We play the one Barl Savage for obvious reasons. Um, Barl just is here for the negate. Then for your exceeds, you have King Atom, one of my favorite exceeds. And number 38, another favorite. So they're self-explanatory. Then for the links we have LP, Pisti, Hieratic Seal, we have the Protector Dragon Buster. No, this just requires any two monsters and it's Dragon. So it just works out really fantastic for you. And what do you do with it if you had no other way to send the whelp and you just have two dragons and you feel you can just go into this and send it. That way when you summon your Leviathan it can just equip and if you're concerned what you can always do is find any other dragon plus this after sending the well to go into this what you do with this is that you can just tribute it summon your leviathan from your main deck and equip the well that would have been in your grave so it locks your opponent out of extra deck again and then we have one romulus that is self-explanatory triple buster and the new card darkness metal yay so some of the batch of the stuff I ordered is here, and that's how I have this. This is a monster reborn, and the drawback is that a card that you reborn would have gone into your deck. No, that's not a drawback, because <laughs> you'd love to put back some of these. They're really good. Alright, so Dragon is not at their utmost strength right now, but they're going to be very soon. So, thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace. Have a great day.